How's it going, everybody? I'm Callie. I'm a dad, and this is Callie to Taste Test. And man, I just ate a lot of mac and cheese. My stomach's going nuts. Maybe I'm a little more intolerant of dairy than I thought I was. I eat cheese all the time. Well, I guess I don't eat cheese all the time. I don't eat that much cheese at once all the time. I made some southern baked mac and cheese, and I had two different kinds of cheeses, evaporated milk, sour cream, and also normal milk. Half and half. That was the other thing. It's a lot of dairy. That's a lot of dairy. My stomach's not handling it right now. You know what I am gonna handle though is some more Oktoberfest beers. <laughs> this is a good idea, right? Drinking a bunch of beer when your stomach isn't feeling great. This is the other Texas Oktoberfest beer video that I'm doing because I want to try as many of these as I can. And it's Friday night, so F it. All right, first up, we got Carb Oktoberfest. I've had Carbock before. Yeah, it's a Bavarian style Marzen. I think we went over the different types of Oktoberfest beer. Also, once again, I got the uh, the Prost from Kunstler Brewing, local brewery here in San Antonio. Shout outs. Oh, this one's extremely clear. Look at that. And that's amber. I know I say some things are amber sometimes, but that that's amber for sure. It's a little hoppy, a little hoppy. Not overly hoppy. Rich, I guess rich and malty. That would be the words I would use to describe this. It's a good drinking beer. It's one of those things you just say, and if you drink enough beer, you understand that, you know? It's a smooth beer. I'll give that an eight, and that's pretty all right. That's pretty all right. Also, I'm pacing myself with the water. I'm not gonna drink too much of any of these beers. Tried to pour some of that back in the can, and uh, got right. Got right on my pants, right? right. Oh. I just love poor equilibrium, just period, you know? I'm so glad I've never had to do like the drunk test where you keep your balance and walk in a line, you know? Cause I just re have really bad balance. All right, up next we got Tober Rust. This is a different kind, it's a Mars and Ale as opposed to the Bavarian style Mars and... and this is from, uh, there you go, Adelbert's Brewing in Austin. This is a pretty new brewery, established 2011. This one's nice and cloudy. I don't know if what I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know why I do that. I just like here. Look, look at beer. Look at beer. I'm sure beer perverts care about this sort of thing. I I might be a beer pervert, but I don't care how cloudy a beer is. I just care how it tastes. It's very bitter. It's harsh. It's harsh. It like tastes yeah harsher, darker. That's, that's a beer I can tell is going to hit me later. I, I like it. This is pretty okay. This is like a 7.5. We got a lot of beer here. <laughs> I keep looking at the monitor. I thought I would be better about this. I've been doing a lot of selfie phone videos, you know? My shorts. So I keep looking at like my face because that's where the camera usually is. Up next, we got Oktoberfest. Ugh. There you go. I found the right distance to put this at. Nope, the lighting's messed up. Whatever. There you go. I was looking for it on the bottle. It says a Bavarian style lager imported from the wild, the Texas Hill Country. I will say I've been to a lot of places. <laughs> period. And uh, driving through Texas Hill Country is just kind of one of my favorite things to do. Serge and I have been to a couple of state parks here, and you know, just driving two hours that way, you know, through some some rocky hills. It's a very nice. I, I, I like looking at mountains. I like being on mountains. I'm one of those basic bitches that loves hiking. Hiking is fun. It wears you the hell out, but it's fun. Just don't make that your entire personality and we'll be good. <laughs> Every time I think about dating profiles, I just go off on a rant. I need to stop. It's another pretty clear lager. So, so far we've had a Bavarian style Mars and Ale, a normal Mars and Ale, and now this is a Bavarian style lager. Yeah, it's got a little bit of bite to it. It's pretty mellow though. This is actually, eh, it's fine. It's okay. It's like a 6.5. All right, up next we got a brewery uh, I actually never heard of until I saw this Oktoberfest at the store. Just a fest beer from Aqua Brew. Aqua Brew is up in San Marcos, halfway between here and Austin. This is the first time I've taken a bathroom break in the middle of a freaking recording. What was I doing? Oh yeah, the fest beer. <laughs> I just noticed they got a big, big prost. So you can see my HEB price tag. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I try to make sure they're usually taken off before I start. 
This is a very light beer. Probably not, you know, calorically. Almost all these Texas beers I get have like a the normal buy local label on them. This one has its own little little custom. Oh, there you go. Crafted in Texas. Independent Brewers HEB label. <laughs> very crisp it's a little fruity too yeah it's, it is very light tasting actually it tastes like it looks this is a very smooth beer i'll give it that yeah it's like crisp and and fruity and smooth i i i like this i'll give that one like a 8.5 actually I, I actually the more i sip on it the more i'm like hmm, hmm big old prost they have made a good first impression i will i'll give it to aqua brew so I think I've had this brewery on the channel before. Texas Leaguer with Mr. Oktoberfest. They're in Missouri City? Where is that? Oh, it's outside Houston. There's a lot of Houston suburbs. Sugarland is probably the coolest name. <laughs> One of these days I'm actually going to go to Houston. I've been through Houston many, many times. This one is an extremely dark amber. This is the darkest beer I've had of all these. That's thick. That's hearty. That's a hearty beer. It's pretty smooth too. It's crazy how different all these beers are. These are all technically Oktoberfest beers. I've had three Marzins just right now and they all taste pretty different because there's Marzin Lager, Marzin Ale, and this just says Marzin. This is such a mix of like metaphor here. Seasonal Lager comes in clutch every fall. Enjoy it while it lasts. It will circle the bases again next year. Baseball. Prost. This is a pretty solid beer. This is honestly very smooth for as dark as it is. That was pretty okay. That was pretty okay. That was like an eight. I would give that an eight. Yeah. I've been recording for a very long time. Please hit me up on Instagram <laughs> at Calida Taste. I am going to relax and hit up some Oktoberfest later this month.